Welcome viewers. In this video, we will see the construction and operation of a hysteresis motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Hysteresis motor. We know that hysteresis effect is nothing but during magnetization and demagnetization, the power will be lost in the form of heat. That is the power with the the power will decrease during magnetization. If the power increase means during demagnetization, the power will decrease. I know that we have the hysteresis loop. We already is available. So there is a energy loss in the form of in the form of heat is called a hysteresis. Based on that, this hysteresis motor is working based on that working based on that hysteresis principle. The, the, the operation of this motor depends on the presence of a continuous revolving magnetic flux. So it is based on continuous revolving magnetic flux. What is continuous revolving magnetic flux? The field winding, the flux is produced in a winding. If single winding is there while passing the current, the flux produced by positive off cycle is cancelled by negative off cycle. So there is no net flux. During positive off cycle, positive flux class created. During negative off cycle, negative flux is created. So got cancelled. So what we need to do? Minimum two phase should be there. In case of three phase motor, three phases available that are displaced by 120 degree. So always there is a revolving magnetic field is available because of three phases with 120 degree displacement. In case of single phase winding, if only one winding is there, net flux is zero. So due to that, we are using two phases with 90 degree phase difference so that there is a revolving magnetic field will be created. So based on that, it is working with the revolving magnetic field. So we need a two minimum two phases with phase displacement. We will see how we are getting that. Hence for the split phase operation. So here we are using split phase operation. It stator has two windings which remains connected to the single phase supply continuously both at starting as well as during the running of the motor. Right? So it is a split phase operation. Two windings are there. It is continuously connected to the AC supply during running as well as starting. We will see how we are getting the phase difference. Another condition is phase difference. So usually shattered pole principle is employed. Shattered pole. So we have one copper coil is there that is called a shattered pole. So that will produce the phase difference between the windings that we will see during the diagram for, for this purpose giving shattered pole hysteresis motor. So it is called a shattered pole hysteresis motor. Alternatively stator winding of the type used capacitor type motor may be used giving capacitor type shattered pole motor. So in addition capacitor also available right so in either type no centrifugal switch is used normally centrifugal switch is used to, to disconnect the starting winding after motor attain the rated speed due to based on the centrifugal action the centrifugal switch will disconnect the starting winding but here during starting as well as running both the windings are connected so centrifugal switch is not used the rotor is smooth chrome steel cylindric cylinder having high redundivity so that hysteresis loss is very high right there is no it has no winding this rotor not having winding only the steel cylinders are available now we'll see the diagram so this is the hysteresis motor rotating part rotor is available these are the status four coils are available four poles so this is the shattered pole it is diagonally opposite we have shattered is available what will happen when the current is flowing some of the emf some of the flux will link with the shattered pole due to that current flowing through the shattered coil and emf is induced in the shattered coil that emf is having 90 90 percent and 90 degree phase difference with the main flux the flux produced in the shattered coil and the main flux having 90 degree phase difference so that we are getting the 
revolving magnetic field. Our aim is to have two windings, then 90 degree phase difference. Two winding is provided by one main winding in second is the saddle pole. Main winding is the one winding, saddle pole is the second winding. So because of the magnetic field induction action, the flux produced in the shattered pole having 90 degree phase difference with the main flux. So we are getting the phase difference also. So due to the rotating magnetic field will be created. Shattered pole induction motor separate video available in that full explanation is given how we are getting the 90 degree phase difference. So this is the exciting coil. Now we will see the description. In above diagram, it is a two pole shaded pole type hysteresis motor used for driving ordinary household electric clocks. So here two pole shaded and with a shaded pole. The rotor is thin metal cylinder and the shaft drives a gear train. Thin metal cylinder and also gear trains are available. Because of high retentivity of the motor of the rotor material, it is very difficult to change the magnetic polarity once they are induced in the rotor by the revolving flux. High redundivity is there, so very difficult to change the magnetic polarity. We will see the other detail. The rotor revolves synchronously because the rotor poles magnetically lock up with the revolving stator pole of opposite polarity. So it is almost rotating in a synchronous speed. However, the rotor poles always lag behind the stator pole by an angle of alpha. That is based on the shattered pole. The flux in the shattered pole oppose a 90 degree phase difference with main flux. So that there is a phase difference of 90, uh, alpha angle between the pole stator and rotor poles. We will see the further detail. Mechanical power developed by the rotor is Pm equal to pH of 1 minus S by S. This mechanical power developed Pm. pH is hysteresis loss in rotor. And S is the slip. We know that the slip of the motor. Also the TH. The torque is 9.55 Pm by Ns. It is seen that hysteresis torque depends on solely on the area of rotor's hysteresis loop, area of the rotor. It is not depends on any other parameter, only based on the area, area of the rotor. So based on that, we will see the further detail. The fact that rotor has no teeth or no winding of any sort result in making the motor extremely quiet in operation. The noise is not there, sound is will not occur and free from the mechanical and magnetic vibrations. So it will run smoothly, there is no mechanical magnetic vibration and, and it operates quiet operation, the, the noise are not available. This makes the motor particularly useful for driving a tab, decks, turn, tables and other precision audio equipments. So the sound is not there. So wherever we need the audio equipment, tables, tab decks, we can use this motor. Since commercial motor usually have two poles, they are run at 3000 RPM at 50 Hz single phase supply. So approximately they are having two poles. So it is almost running at 3000 RPM. In order to adopt such a motor for driving an electric clock and other indicative devices, gear train is connected to the motor shaft for reducing the load speed. So this, this motor can be used as electric clock and indicative devices. In that the speed we need to go with a, our required speed. So the normal speed is 3000 rpm. So our required speed can be get by the gear system. By using gear system we can obtain our, we can control the speed. Now we will see other details. The unit accelerate rapidly changing from rest to full speed almost instantaneously. So from no low, no speed to full speed can be done, can be get instantaneously. It will not take any more time. Instantaneously it will changes from no load to full load. No, low, no speed to full speed. 
it must do so because it cannot accelerate gradually as an ordinary motor it is either operating at synchronous speed or not at all so it will not rotate in any other speed it will rotate in synchronous speed otherwise it will not rotate then we'll see the some unique features of this motor some unique feature of the hysteresis motor are since it hysteresis torque remains practically constant so we are getting the hysteresis law that is almost constant from locked rotor to synchronous speed a hysteresis motor is able to synchronize any load it can be accelerated something so other motor does right so we have hysteresis torque that is almost constant it is rotating at synchronous speed so we are able to synchronize any load can be accelerated that load it can be accelerated so it can be accelerated any load at a synchronous speed that is a unique feature and the next one is due to its smooth rotor we already know that there is no noise there is no vibration so the motor operates quietly and does not suffer from the magnetic pulsation caused by slot or salient pole that are present in the rotor of the other motors right so the two important feature is <coughs> one is hysteresis torque rotating at synchronous speed so it can able to accelerate any load another one is not affecting with the magnetic pulsations magnetic pulsation and vibration and quiet it is not producing any sound that is the another another feature of the hysteresis motor so in this video we discuss about the hysteresis motor how it is differ from other motor construction wise what is the operation what are the unique features available in the hysteresis motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination